Good day, good day, grade 12, matriculants, incorporating students who are completing their matric, um, geography teachers, and people who are curious and learning more about geography. Today, we're going to be discussing a moisture front and a line tunnel storm. A moisture front and a, a line tunnel storm. First of all, I told you what a, a front is. I told you what the front is, as we already discussed, a polar front. So bring your understanding of a polar front, what happens? What are those emphases that meet and, um, and the other one is going to get underneath, forcing the other one to rise? So basically, this is the same thing that we are going to be discussing in terms of the moisture front, which is also known as line tunnel storm. So a moisture front, this is whereby the interior of South Africa is going to experience or have a line thunderstorm. You know, yeah, a moisture front, a very long one in the interior of South Africa, caused by the two anticyclones that you find in our two oceans around South Africa, which is the South Indian High and the South Atlantic Anticyclone. South Atlantic, South Indian Anticyclone, and the South Atlantic Anticyclone. So, in this side, we're going to have, let me say here, we're going to have a South Indian Anticyclone. And this side, uh, I'm writing a lot of space. Okay, let me say, um, Okay, this side, we are going to have um, South Atlantic Anti-Cyclone. So you, move, you know these two anti-cyclones, they move in an anti-clockwise direction. 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 Let me also show arrows here so that you can see perfectly. Okay. So you can see they move in an anti-clockwise direction along these uh, two different types of ocean in terms of um, the temperature. This is the warm ocean and this is the very, very cold, very, very cold ocean. This side, a cold Benguera color current. This is a cold Benguera current. Let me show you. Let me just write it here. The cold Benguela The cold Benguela Current On this side we have a warm Mozambique current on the South Indian anticyclone Well We have our warm Mozambique current. This is the warm Mozambique current, as you can see. This side, the very, very warm ocean with humid air, with, which is less dense than this one. The very, very dry, cold, the very cold, dry water on this side found in this ocean, which is dry and denser, you know? Yeah. And the cold thing with a current okay sorry yeah so how does this um, moisture front form okay the front this is whereby two different emphases meet you know 
a friend. This is whereby two different masses meet and when they meet the emmas which is warm which is less denser and has a lot of humidity which has potential to rise it's going to be over the cold dense cold dense um, dry air which is denser and the denser air is going to get underneath forcing the warm air to rise so in the interior of South Africa this front forms here so you know when it rises it meets the dew point in the atmosphere this is whereby the warm air changes its state from a gas to to become a liquid forming a motor droplets which can result in heavy heavy rainfall so let's get to this um, um, my chaffron, how does it form? So, as you know, uh, this anticyclone moves in an anticlockwise direction. So, it transports these winds to transport these winds. direction this is warm warm air from um, South Indian anticyclone so originally it is from warm Mozambique current this is very very warm air getting inside in the interior of of South Africa and also the same thing happens from the South Atlantic Anticyclone. It will transport winds to, to the interior of South Africa. You know, it's very, very cold. It's very, very cold, you know, yeah. Okay, um, let me say it like this, okay going to move like this like this like this causing a moisture front so basically this air this warm air is going to meet the cold air forming a front the front will be will be formed so a front will be formed in the interior of South Africa front will be formed in the interior of South Africa which is also known as moisture front this is the moisture 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 front This is a moisture front. The moisture front will be formed in the interior of South Africa. So basically, you know, the air that is from the north of the warm Mozambique current, which is, I can say these are the um, north easterly warm winds, you know, are much warmer. They from the, they, they originate straight from the equator. You know, yeah. The north easterly is this one. North, north easterly, warm, humid, warm, humid, humid, wind or air. Let me say wind. Okay, let me say air. You know, the warm, humid air is going to meet this south. Is going to meet this um, this south westerly cold air. You know it's cold. Yes. So 
the warm humid air is going to meet the southwesterly cold air the warm air from the warm Mozambique current it's less denser it has humidity it has much humidity more more moisture because or I can say as it's from the ocean you know the ocean has a lot of water has a lot of humid air and so on so when this air warm Mozambique current meets the south cold the southwestern cold air from the cold Pengola current it's going to be it's, it's, it's going to form a front this is whereby this cold air is going to get underneath forcing the warm humid air to rise forming a clouds big big clouds so we're going to have as you can see this moisture front this moisture front represents a line thunderstorm like uh, uh, big clouds these are going to be clouds we should take this one as a as clouds formed by this by this front in the interior of of South Africa in the interior of South Africa so you know once we have this line thunderstorm this uh, line of cloud cover that can take more 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 kilometers it can take uh, um, thousands of kilometers in the interior of South Africa, uh, causing a similar rainfall um, in the different places in the interior of South Africa, you know, yes. So um, basically, let me just write down the things that you should know. Okay, so in this uh, line tunnel storm or moisture front, as you can see, this is whereby as I already told you, this is a pie. Um, uh, uh, warm air, you can say. Warm, humid, humid air from, from. North east from the northeast um, I can say warm air from the, the northeast um, meets 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 the the cold, dense air, dense air from from southwest of cold Benguela. Benguela current. So this is where by warm humid air from the east of warm Mozambique current, warm Mozambique current, this is warm Mozambique current meets the cold air from southwest of cold Bengala current. So this is by the South Indian anticyclone has diverted. South as you can see, the South Indian anticyclone diverted some wind too. To the interior of South Africa in a northerly eastern direction and also the South Atlantic anticyclone has diverted wind um, from southwestern direction from the cold Pengola current to the interior of South Africa you know yeah uh, two um, then the the cold then dry the cold dry the cold dry dense 
dense air from from cold from cold Benguela Benguela current the, the cold dry dense F from cold Benguela current um, gets underneath or positions itself underneath gets under underneath the the warm humid which is less denser warm humid air from warm Mozambique current causing this warm air to rise this warm humid air to rise this warm humid air to to rise and also and also um, after this warm humid air has risen it meets the dew point and condenses this warm okay warm humid air um, condenses and form this warm humid air condenses and form a line of cumulonimbus clouds. A form a, a line, a very long line, a, a, a long. This is long line of Q. Malo Nimbus clouds in the in the interior of South Africa. Yes, the interior of South Africa. I think that's it. Yes, so a warm humid air from north easterly warm Mozambique current meets the cold dense air from southwesterly direction of cold Bengala current. Yes, as you can see, as I told you, the cold dry dense air from cold Bengala current gets underneath the warm humid air from Mo warm Mozambique current, causing this warm humid air to rise. Warm humid air condenses and form line a long line of cumulonimbus clouds in the interior of South Africa you know after this formation of cumulonimbus clouds you know heavy rainfall is okay very heavy rainfall in the interior of South Africa in the interior of of South Africa, in the interior of South Africa, very heavy rainfall, or I can say that a torrential rainfall. In the interior of South Africa, number two. Okay, and this um um and this heavy rainfall will will benefit uh people in the interior of South Africa you know yeah as much as we 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 we, we experience this uh, continental climate in the interior of South Africa you know yeah people living in the interior of South Africa like in the you can see my my, my warm front my, my my moisture front 
is in the interior of South Africa. So those people are, are less likely to receive rainfall. Yeah, you can see, yeah. So they are going to receive much more rainfall, especially farmers gonna, are going to benefit a lot from this kind of rainfall. Yes. Um, thunderstorms. Full rivers. Full rivers, which can benefit uh, or bring up the ecosystem and benefit the farmers and so on. But we are going to discuss um, this kind of um, information when we are doing um, some kind of question papers and so on. Thanks guys and please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share and click the notification button. Yes. Thank you so much for, for, for your time and I hope you, you've learned something from my lesson. And let me know guys, please comment. Thank you so much.